So I won't see you until after Mother's Day, so I thought this is a perfect time to do a Mother's Day tribute, because Sunday will be the first Mother's Day where I won't have a mother. She died last month, April 19th, at the age of 81, and I said on Facebook, and it's in a column this weekend, she was my best friend. Yes, she was. Um, I don't know how old I was when I started talking, but I really didn't stop. And she listened, and boy did I listen to her. She told me about the world, bedtime stories, and when I got old enough, I'd say, Mom, why did Hitler come to power? How could the Germans let him come to power? And she said, they weren't paying attention. They were thinking about other things. They were worried about unimportant things. That's why you have to know what the politicians say and what the politicians do, because the same thing could happen here. Don't ever forget that. It's one of the reasons why I'm in radio and was in news before, because I was always interested in current events and used to watch the conventions for hours. My mother and I would watch the Watergate hearings together for hours. We would listen to the Watergate hearings on the radio. Yes, I was 11, I was a weird kid. I'd say, Mom, did you hear what Senator Montoya said, Senator Gurney, Senator Talmadge? Did you hear what Sam Dash just said? She'd want to know. So we had those types of conversations. She was also very passionate about IU basketball. I get my passion to this day. It was in sports for a while. My mother would have the temper of Bobby Knight if they didn't win. One time I was arrested in Lexington, Kentucky for scalping tickets my senior year in high school. I, I ran 13 blocks back to Rupp Arena. My friend Rodney called her after the game and said, you better sit down. Mitch has been arrested. He missed the entire first half. My mother, steaming from the Indiana law, said he missed the only good part. And of course, politically, yeah, she was a strong Democrat. Loved Bernie Sanders, but loved Democrats. At age eight, I read The Day Lincoln Was Shot by Jim Bishop, big book. I said, Mom, Mary Todd Lincoln ended up in a sanitarium. She said, doesn't surprise me. She married a Republican. This was my indoctrination early. And of course, my mother never forgave Lincoln for approving the land grant for Purdue. No offense, Purdue fans. So Mother's Day tribute, all I can say is, you will always be with me, and I love you. My Two Minutes, My Two Cents are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCosh and a lobbyist who work for Tommy, who gets things done downtown. We can talk about this and more on the radio Monday at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.